guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a full face foundation routine including contour and bronzer and blush and highlighter. So, and my eyebrows because I can't leave the house without my eyebrows. So, if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, go ahead and keep on watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below also if you guys wanna see more videos. All right, so my everyday foundation or face routine, it kinda just changes. Um, I used to never wear makeup on my face at all, actually. I would just do like moisturizer. I started moving on to this Physicians Formula CC Cream in the color light. And ever since I started using this, I was like, maybe I should start wearing foundation. <laughs> I don't have a lot of like color correction, but I definitely do have dark circles under my eyes. And I know this is really weird, but I eat a lot of carrots. And so sometimes like this whole area is really orange. And so <laughs> I actually stopped trying to eat as much carrots because of that reason like my hands are really orange too and so this is a couple months like without eating as much carrots but I still have a lot of discoloration um, around this area from um, all the carrots. I know that sounds really weird but it's the truth and that's what happened to me. So what I used to do is I just used to use the Trader Joe's Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion, and this has SPF 15 in it. And I used to just put this all over my face like this. If you guys don't know how to put face lotion on, then um, this is how you do it. You just literally rub your face with the lotion. The excess goes on my arms because why not? SPF 15. So this is kind of how I would just go <laughs> like before I started using the CC cream. But now it's a little different because I was like, mm, maybe I should look a little better. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the dewy and smooth in the color sandy beige and that is color 210. This color has really good like olive tones in it which is good for my face, you know? This color actually is like a really true match to what my skin tone is right at this moment. I'm gonna go in with the majority of my face using this and then I'll add some of the, the CC cream. I feel like it has more coverage than the Fit Me Too. Okay, damp beauty blender. <laughs> and just pat that in everywhere. Yeah, I didn't wear makeup for like the longest time on my face. I used to have to wear a ton and I think that's probably why I didn't because when I went robbing and like my face cleared up so much and I was super happy about it and so I kind of wanted to relish in <laughs> the fact that I didn't have to wear makeup because I had to wear makeup for so long because I had pimples like everywhere. Now I just have problem areas like around my chin and stuff. After that is done, is it really sad that I didn't even own concealer like two months ago? I didn't own it. I didn't, but I've been really liking this, um, the Photo Ready by Revlon. Come on, autofocus, let's do this. And this is in the color Fair. It's a very creamy concealer, and I really like it. I think that it's it's pretty nice. I use a bunch of different concealers right now. I also use the Alme Clear Complexion, and this is in light as well, color 100. That's about it. All right, going with that beauty blender again, but... I don't know, I, I can appreciate face makeup now. I think that it makes your face look flawless. I don't know, I find foundation fun now. So the RCMA setting powder, I heard like, I've heard a lot of people rave about it. And so I picked it up and I actually put it in this Ulta container because the container that it's in sucks, let's just be honest. But it leaves my face feeling chalky and Sometimes I, I literally like barely put anything on there and just like brush under my eyes. And I don't cover my whole face with this stuff because like I said, my face is chalky. So I'm literally just setting it underneath of my eye and just like my T-zone. I don't know why. Tell me if I'm using it wrong. I've tried using the beauty blender. I've tried using the brush. I've tried dampening my beauty blender and then putting it on. The thing that works best for me is literally just like under my eye swooping, like barely. Like I can't bake with this stuff, no way. <laughs> on to eyebrows um i use the color charcoal brown from mac you can't even tell what it says <laughs> but that's what i use i had my eyebrows tattooed when i was 17 and then i had them like redone like five years ago and you can't tell that they're tattooed but like i can in the mirror 
You're supposed to get them touched up like every year and nobody got time for that. I have not gotten them touched up in five years and so there's still the outline there that helps me out. If you guys would have seen my eyebrows before they were tattooed, you'd be like, girlfriend, you need help. I tried using the pencils as well. Guys, I can't. Like, somebody needs to teach me how to do it because I've tried watching so many stinking videos on it, tried doing it. I even went to Sephora and like sat there and tried using the Benefit brow and the Anastasia. I can't do it. It just doesn't work for me. So right now, this is what I do. Like, I really would like it to like be like more natural up here, but also, most of the time, my eyebrows are definitely sisters. <laughs> they are never twins. They aren't even close to being twins. Like, they're maybe even like stepsisters. You know what I mean? The other day, it was actually, I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, my husband was like, um, Chloe, you really need to go to the, the bathroom and like fix your eyebrows. And I'm like, why? What happened? He's like, um, you kind of had a unibrow. <laughs> like, I really did. Like, they were like so close together. They were almost touching. That was funny. So I'm glad he has my back because sometimes I'm just like in a rush or not really paying close attention or like the inner corners of my eyebrows aren't working. So I keep on bringing them in and in and in and in. Whatever. Screw it. I'm done. I'm over it. That's just what they're going to look like. I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. This stuff works good, I like it. Just to kind of set the eyebrows that I don't have in place, you know, just faking it. Let's be honest, I try to pretend that I have eyebrows. Um, that's pretty much my finished like foundation routine. Um, <laughs> and the reason why I added in my eyebrows is because like I will never go out of the house without my eyebrows on. Like, let's be honest, like I can go out like this. Like this to me is acceptable. What makes it even better is adding some um, some bronzer. I like Ticket to Brazil by Wet n Wild. This stuff is four bucks. I'm gonna go in kind of sculpting a little bit. Not the best at bronzer or contour. I was trying to put it like below my cheekbones for the longest time and then everybody's like, no, you put it on your cheekbones. And I'm like, okay. This Essence palette, this is the All About Nudes. Oh my gosh, I love these cool tones. They're still like, this is my contour. Okay, I go in with these two colors and I just like tap them back and forth. And then I literally just do like the slightest little bit in the corner to add that shadow effect. I really like blush. I really like pale blushes and I really like peach blushes. <laughs> so this the L'Oreal True Matte Blush Precious Peach Color. Guys, this color, like there's no shimmer in it. It's very matte, it's very pale, and it's very peach. So I love this stuff just to add like a little bit of color just love. For highlight, and from e.l.f., everything is taken off of it. I don't know what it's called, but this one is my absolute favorite. Like, <laughs> it's so pretty. So this is what I'm gonna use, and this is what I really use, like, on the daily. Look at it. Want to take a look at that? Take a look at it. Just look at it. That's my finished look. And actually, before I do my makeup, I always set my face. Today, I'm gonna use e.l.f., because, dude, this stuff's awesome. It... Don't open your mouth though. That tastes gross. <laughs> but the e.l.f. makeup mist and set, like, I think this one's really good. I have like the Urban Decay. I like the chill one better than the All Nighter. I have, I like the e.l.f. a lot. I think it works great for, but yeah. So that is my everyday face makeup with, I mean, just ignore this. <laughs> but, um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos or makeup tutorials or life videos by me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below um, and leave a comment if you guys use any of these products. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.